Oh man, that thing fired real quick. Welcome to another Vintage Cube Draft. I'm your host. This is some guy. Wow. They know who I am. Well, you unbutton your shirt? Yeah, I'm unbuttoning one button. <laughs> you got a uh, fucking Mark Wahlberg over here from, from uh, what's that fucking movie's name, man? <laughs> I don't know. Who care? Fucking Boogie Nights over here. We could sulfuric vortex. You got boogie nights over here. Um, sulfuric? Yeah, sulfuric vertex. Vertex? Sulfuric vertex? Yeah. Do we got any snips? Hey, y'all want to? Y'all want to take that sulfuric vertex? I don't know, man. Do we? Must take any parts of infinite combos. Veto's only for power. If it goes infinite, Aye. you must take it. Let's see how many combos we get. Unease joke, Travis. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Well, there's no going infinite in this pack. Well. We wouldn't have to do anything. Sometimes I just want to do normal. Swords and Angels is also a stipulation. We have an Angel of Strength. I would either take Preordain or Sulfuric Vortex or Opposition. Wow. That's cool, man. Opposition I'm not going Nickel B again. I've taken Nickel B too many... I've been hurt too many times. <laughs> oh, Fast Bond. A Volcanic? I don't give a fuck about Fast Bond. Really? Yes. That card sucks my ass. That card's real good sometimes. When? When you have a bunch of lands and you go bloop, 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 and then you go boop, 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 boop. What was the second thing you did? Boop, 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 no, what does that represent? A plane or a lands. But I thought boop, the boop, 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 I thought the first one was the plane on lands. I don't know, man. Shut up. See, once he once you start asking him questions, his whole life falls apart. His whole personality crumbles. I'm gonna take relic because it's safe. It's my favorite card. It's not. It's not safe, and it's not my favorite card. It's just good. It's totally safe. Well, why would I take a dangerous pick? <laughs> well, let's take let's take fairgrounds warden because it's dangerous. I think Buried Alive is, would be a dangerous pick. Really? At least this has a strategy. This is just a white dirtle creature that no one wants to play ever. Dangerous doesn't mean strictly bad. You you mean strictly bad, though, so let's keep that in mind. Right, I do plot to destroy you. Wow. Well, <laughs> keep plotting, I guess. You'll get there eventually. Yeah. As well with opposition. <coughs> well, I'm just assuming we're going to be green. Look how fast wow, I'm making I didn't these even, picks. I didn't even see any, fast I'm I didn't even see any cards here. in the pack. Look, look how fast I'm going. Oh my I'm god, going. okay, well, look clearly I have no involvement in this draft. I'm just taking cards, man, I don't even care. Alright, I'll slow down. You're <laughs> just building your typical blue-green deck that you that you build every every draft. I literally haven't played blue-green in ages. Really? Plus, it's pulling a real uh, silent streamer move where you just pick and don't say anything. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll uh, yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say redo because he's done that recently. But like, any like any like streamer that's not like a an entertainer, they're always just like. Re. Nothing really in this pack for us. How long can this charade go on? <coughs> Shut up. Have you considered sending them on down to Rat Train? There's no rats in here. How can I do that? Well, there's a land. It's a guy who can take them with it. <laughs> Nothing you said was English. Trying to type out a sentence? <laughs> Good luck. This is you. Mr. Madison, what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. 
You gonna let him finish the clip? No, the clip is him saying that. I don't care what Billy Madison has to say in response. Oh, so they got back to me today and they're like, there's a $500 pet fee. And I was like... Yeah, I saw that in the chat. I was like, wow, that's a lot. Are you fucking... $500? A fee? That's a large fee, my dude. And they're like, it's not refundable. And I'm like, but what... But... Okay, so I, I move in your house... <clears throat> they cause no damage. I get my security deposit back, and you just keep my five hundred dollars. Like, but why? What is it covering? It's covering bullshit, and you should clearly just lie. I I literally regretted telling them I had pets after they twenty five hundred dollars. I was like, cool. Was that even in the post? No. So I even mentioned to her, I'm like, hey, this is a bit high, and like it, it wasn't mentioned anywhere. And she was like, let me talk to my manager. And I was like, okay, cool. So maybe they'll be able to lower. Maybe like, I mean, like three hundred is probably fine. I don't know. Like five hundred is just like, like surprise, five hundred dollars. Like, cool, dude. <laughs> like that's it's not an insignificant amount of money. <clears throat> I didn't ask for the manager. She actually said she'd talk to their manager. I didn't ask for her. So. You want to play Spirit Boys? Not th not triple white, my dude. Really? I don't know, man. Maybe. Here, look. Now it's in the deck. It's yeah, good with opposition. Oh, well, I guess... Even if you pay four for I it. I guess if there's a ten mana card that makes two creatures, it's good with opposition, so I might as well play it. It's not a ten mana. It might cost you four. You're going to have double white. Okay. <clears throat> Got a Grim Monolith, which goes well with your Karn. Got a Tinker. Probably Grimmy here. What are we ramping into? Card. Oh, wow. We have one card. That's a two card combo. Yeah. That's good. I was thinking Leshno or Snapcaster. Elsh would be fine. <clears throat> would it? It also would help you cast, cast the Elshnorn. Kel it would have to help me cast it. Yeah. I want to cast me Elshnorn. Everybody does. You see what I did there? I gave you an Irish accent. Did you like it? It was alright. Yeah. But how many seven drops do we really want? Probably two. Wow, that's convenient. Oh, I like a time warp. We should do this again. Over Council Judgment? I mean, I like I like Azorius singing over Council of Judgment here. I didn't see the signal for some reason. Yeah, that's real good. You should probably take that. It's probably because you're blind. <coughs> Did you ever go to the doctor about your eyeballs, Michael? No, and I never will. Wow, that's weird. That's a weird... Never! Never! Yeah, the treasure is good. Is it? Yeah. Is it? No, let's go for an 8-drop. I'm, I'm fine with that. It's a really good 8-drop, to be it's fair. A re and we got a Zori Singing Coalition Relic. I ain't too... I ain't too off it. Oh, I like a Gear Hulk, but I don't know if I like a Gear Hulk here. No. It hits it's literal terrible. nothing. You should play... You should take Solemn or Everflowing Oh, Chalice. I like a Solemn, though. Everflowing what? Chalice. Is that what you said? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I didn't. Who knows, man? Who's to say, really? Well, I figured you would. You would be able to say. Ha, <laughs> ha. Oh, that's a good one. Where you doing, man? Trash my leg. How long does it take? Forever. God, seems like a while. Oh, Legion's Landing seems all right with opposition, actually. Yeah. Making some dudes. Making all the dudes every day. Mitchell does look like he's being integrated into the Matrix. He's got his invisible shirt on today. Oh, Hero of Blade Hold? Fudge, sure. Yeah. Also goes well with opposition after you make the token. Yeah, yeah. buddy. You ain't kidding. Oh, Sun Titan seems great here. It's okay. God, you always shit on Sun Titan and then always wrecks face. I mean, NFA is a 6 6 with vigilance. NFA! NFA is a 6 6 with vigilance, man. But I mean, what are we getting back? At the NFA. Oh. Right now, Relic, Brimes. If they die. Warden. Ludi. Thraby. Siggy. If they die. Well, if they don't die, we're already winning. If our Thraben Inspector doesn't die, then we're probably just winning the game. I'm pretty sure there are multiple situations where you can have a three-hour inspector and you are not winning the game. This this hard disagree. Really? No. 
<laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna put the disarm again though. Maybe that's good. Oh 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 oh! Came back. That's nice. No one's in white clearly. This is yeah. We are definitely the only white drafters at this table. I regret taking a Leshnorn. What did you take over it? Over time warp. Snapcaster and time warp. No and time warp. Grim monolith. Grim monolith. Grim monolith. Okay. This card is why is this this card is such trash. It's good and really it's only good when you're playing against the blue eye control deck. That's pretty much it. Making your way downtown. And even then it's situational. Back. Oh wow. I'ma get him. Alright, well this is almost our deck. So. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. He knows what's up. <laughs> oh Jesus. Also, if we moved on the 21st, the rent would be 460 for this month because it's like that's the priority amount for those like 10 days. So I was like, let's just move it on the 28th and then we can just pay like 160 bucks for this month. Yeah, I mean, we no reason to move. I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to pay like an extra $300 for like <clears throat> for no reason when I, I can't live in both houses and I already paid for I already paid for this house. It sucks we won't see Tundra though because it was in pack one. <clears throat> I assume 28th is a Tuesday or Wednesday? Yes. Okay, cool. That means I can work some overtime next week. Work all the overtime you want, man. I'm gonna. Get that Disney trip in. Get them savings in. Yeah, we found a place. It's like 10 minutes away. It's a nice one, too. It's. I was actually... Uh, when do we uh, owe the money? When? Yeah. Like this week sometime. Okay. Uh, I did commentary for Hearthstone at one point. I think it's just windswept teeth, but it's not great here. I don't think it's sore. I don't think we're silver blade pals in deck. I bet unexpectedly absent comes back. I'll just take the windswept teeth. Because if we still see a hollowed fountain, that's pretty cool. Yeah. This can get opposition <laughs> or treachery. Thank it's you. Not bad. It's not bad actually. Can also get a signet and a pinch. Tortured sword. Thank you so much for the resub or the <clears> sub. <throat> welcome back. Welcome, welcome. Really appreciate it, buddy. Dig through time also not terrible. We don't really have a dig deck. Yeah, we have like one fetch land that we might play. Nah. Eh, whatever, I'll just take Enlightened Toots. Oh, Blightsteel? Giver? Gidgen? Also Signet. Also Signet. It's half our colors. Also Counterspell. Yeah, Counterspell's pretty good. Probably not going to be playing on turn two, but you don't really need to. I would take either Counterspell or Signet here. Probably lean towards Signet just because we do have kind of a high curve. Don't talk to me like that. You don't like Blightsteel? With our... Uh, buh, 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 buh. Okay, there's nothing. Got it. We have Coalition Relic and Azuri Signet, Michael. And Solemn Simulacrum. Uh-huh. Yeah, I like Signet there. Oh, Seagram Coast. Yeah, I'll take it. Taking that. Man, I wish we could have taken that Leovold because then we could take this Time Twister. And that's the world I want to be in. Ooh, or Resolve Signet now. Sure. Or Sower of Temptation, actually. We already got a Treasury. I mean, so? You satisfied with just taking one creature? When you can have two? Yeah, didn't think so. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not going to play a third Signet. Like, really? Yeah, man. What am I, Maniac? I'm a maniac, maniac. I kind of like Karn here. I condemn. Really? All right. You it's know really what? Pretty good. I like it. Oh, face fetters is good. Jace. Solid is, answer. Well, Jace little... was really good combo with Sun Titan. I do like a Jace and a Sun Titan. I already have. Plus the face fetters will come back. Wait, will it? No. I don't think it's enough. Mentor is good. Ooh, let's play a Mentor. Mm. Even if you trigger him only like once or twice, it's still worth it. Right, because we have opposition. Yes. I'll take Absent, which is what I was saying. Leovold is still in this pack. People ain't got no respect. Dig Through Time comes back? Is it just Wall of Omens here? I think Wall is decent. It's also good with Sun Titan. I'll take Gideon. Wow, we're just getting it all. Actually, this makes three dudes. Yeah. I like this better than Spectral. Yeah, I agree with that. We still can make like four cuts. Good lord. They got mana tithe. I 
I don't think we need single, double signet and coalition relic. No, we have an eight drop. Yeah, we're gonna play some, some Death Stranding tonight, much to Michael's chagrin. I want it to get better because I want it to be good because I want to like it. I want it to get better, better, better. I didn't know I was delivering packages. Ten times playing Death Stranding. I want to get better, better, better. Look at these white cards, man. Literally every fucking late card is a white card. This windswept heath sucks. Nice cards, butt munch. <laughs> wow. That was a solid meme. Alright, so we need three cuts. Yikes. You could consider... Yeah, Looter's pretty good. Um, Is leading landing worth it? Just because of opposition? I don't know if we're attacking that. Man, oh God. I mean, we got, like, hero and stuff. We have a lot of things to make creatures. I agree. It's not great. Take out Ugin. They're both, very, both of these are very good. Yeah, I don't like taking out Ugin that game. That, that card just wins the game. I take out Treachery and just leave it in Sower for now. Treachery's just better, right? Mm. No, because this is a creature is that gives you opposition. But it's also way easier to kill. <laughs> you can cut Elish and bring it in when it's good against like heavy creature decks. I think that's fine, I guess. I just need one cut. Angel makes dudes. We don't have any fetch lines. We don't want to play the we don't want to play the fetch line just because of Angel, if we're gonna play it. Because of Angel. Yeah. Yeah, that seems fine. There's forty one in it. About seven ten. Yeah. Seems fine. I like 9 8 better just because we have both of these produce white and we have double blue, double blue, double blue. All of these are double blue except for like Looter and like Riftwing Cloudscape if you suspend it. I mean, the things that trigger Monastery Mentor. And we have 12 cards in our deck that trigger Monastery Mentor. Like, that's pretty decent. You don't Plus, you can get it back with Sun stuff. Titan. Like, if you don't cast things that cost over 5, we still have 10 triggers, which is pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, and also you can Sun Titan it. Seems good. Well, there's only 16 lands. I don't care about Tithe. Tithe is cute, but, like, I'm never going to, like... If I have to cut a card, I'm definitely cutting Tithe first. It's really good sometimes, and a lot of times it's really bad. You know that new draft format you've been looking for? Well, listen to this. Name that movie. I can't. Yeah, I didn't think so. I have no idea what you even said. Well, I know what you said. I just don't know what it's from. Tie this greater than Ugin game one? Well. Doubt. I guess, uh, I guess you guys aren't ready for this format. But your kids are gonna love it. <laughs> That's fantastic. Mike, please know the movie. Oh, now I know it. Because he said that. I think you should know it. Because you should have a little class, but I'm like bad at remembering quotes. Oh, where they come from. I'm good at making excuses, though. Yes, that's where I excel in life. I'm perfect at that. Yeah, I do it really well because I do it so frequently that I, I really, I get so good at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would a wise man say that? It seems like just a regular a regular guy trying to make a joke would say that. There's no real wisdom in there. Oh, what up, Mark?
Maybe if Mike got up to 88 miles an hour, he would know it. It's true. What one is it from? The first one. You f- I have seen that one. Oh, really? You have, yeah. you have seen Back to the Future 1? Yeah. Wow. It was only like two years ago. What? Maybe maybe a little less recent than that. Are you for real? <clears throat> yeah, we've been over this. You complained about it so much, I ended up watching it because they're like, okay, I got to watch this. I guess. God, it's so good. It was very good. I guess if you've only seen it that one time, though, it makes sense that you don't remember the quote. Yeah, I've seen the first and the second one. I never saw the third one. I have it on my computer. I just haven't gotten around to watching it. I've heard it's not as good as the other two. Second's good. Third one's meh. Is that what you just said? Basically. Okay. That's what I've heard. Yeah. Hey, Pit Nero, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Glad to hear it, my dude. We got a tuber over here? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Just kidding. I love you. I started as a tuber. Didn't we all? It's a tuber. A YouTuber, you dummy. I'm not a YouTuber. What? I'm so confused. No one's talking to you. Oh. He's talking to the literal guy that just said, I watch it all the time on the tube. Oh, okay. God, not everything's about you, Michael. I just assumed it was. I know you did. I think I'm actually just going to steal this beast. Is there someone here almost qualified as an MT judge to solve me a rules question? My dad. <clears throat> Can't hurt to ask. Give it a shot. What if it could hurt to ask, though? I don't know how it would. What if you were in physical pain because you were asking? I guess then don't ask it. That's a good idea. Don't ask it. (laughs) Katie was an L2, I think. Maybe she was just an L1. She was a judge, though. Weren't you an L1? I was an L1. I'll be honest with you. I was only joining the judge program because I wanted them sweet-ass promos, though. (laughs) Who doesn't? Because, like, as a player, it's really hard to also be a judge because, like, every time you go to an event, you're not playing in that event if you're judging. And that's, like, really hard. Now I have the Back to Future shocks on my hand. They're deciding if they want to trade their their Elves of Beep Shadow and one loyalty. Yep, they do. Tortured Sword with the Gifted Sub. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. Old Johnny B. Not to be confused with old Michael B. Old Michael B. Next turn's gonna be good. We have several options. Unless of course they go like upheaval. Sorry, Ash, didn't you just resub? I feel like I just you just resubbed. I feel like there's something funny going on. Some kind of shenanigans here. Oh my god, I literally was singing the Sweet Michael B song. And, like, this comment, literally, I just got this comment right now. <sighs> Look, I'm gonna even show the time. Oh, it's 11 minutes ago, but I just checked now. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I'm like, w- wow, that's so weird that I was just singing that song. And I literally had a comment waiting from YouTube. That's insane to me. Oh god, they're doing some shenanigans here. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. I wish I, I wish I, I had this guy Can back. Bounce it. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I want to just bounce this and then kill it, then steal it, <clears throat> kill it, then steal it, then bounce it, then pop it, then j- drop it. You know, <laughs> there you go. I had to have my opponent walk me through how to kill. Yeah. I mean, that's the problem with, like, complex combo decks like that. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm uncomfortable. Cool. I guess we're not playing this or bouncing this or really doing anything at all. Oh, boy. Council judgment. We're probably going to do some more death training tonight. Double blue card. <clears throat> I just said we are. Someone asked, so I'm replying to them. I just said it, Michael. But he didn't hear you, obviously, or he wouldn't have asked. Is it obvious? Yeah. Yeah. Meow. Meow. Gonna be honest, not loving this primeval titan. No. Yep. I mean, you can kind of crack back for a lot. He's still probably gonna attack, though. 
I'm probably just gonna triple block. I'm blocking on my team. You can just double block with Rimaz and Beast Token. <clears throat> That's a good block, actually. That's not bad. And we get a one-one out of it too. That's good thinking, Michael. You're a real smart cookie. If you were a cookie, what cookie would you be? What cookie would I be? Oatmeal raisin. You'd be an oatmeal raisin. Yeah. What about an oatmeal cranberry cookie? That's too. I'm not that extreme. <laughs> Whoa, buddy. Calm down. I'm an old-fashioned soul. I hope they take eight here. I really just said that because I like that cookie. There wasn't a real reason. Well, I think that's as far as I could really expect like anyone to answer that question. Yeah, because it's it's like I don't think they're going deep into well, the tank. Well, I think and the being chocolate like, oh. nuggets describe my deep dark personality. Okay, well, first off, they don't because you would never call them chocolate nuggets if they did, because <laughs> no one no one calls when them. When I said that. nugget, I meant. I didn't mean chips, I meant chunks. I meant to say chunks, chocolate chunks. Can I get a chocolate chip <coughs> nugget cookie? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, no one has that. Oh, they didn't attack. Oh, their fucking primeval titan is doing nothing. I mean, it's not a great attack unless they really want the lands. I would. Oh, man, we're so good at this game. Oh, what? Really? You're going to click me? Click, click, boom. I mean, I would have totally actually clicked when we attack with sower. I mean, you get, like, a little bit more information, but... They're probably going to take Gideon. Gidgeon? Gigione? From the Italian? From the Italian. You know what I'm saying. They might take nothing. They might take nothing. Like, we're not really... We're never casting... No, they got to take Gideon, because if we, if we force them to attack, it's real bad for them. Um... <sighs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, it'd actually be a pretty bad. Oh, effect. they did not. They took Riftwing. Interesting. This this is this is gonna be pretty bad for them. Yeah, we do have to draw land, but it's pretty good. Man, six mana wrath. You were bored, not mine. Oof. Yeah, I don't care about the lands you get either. You must come at me, bro. Can I get a Choco Nugget Crunchum? Oh man, that's my favorite. <clears throat> that says Nuggy. Choco Nuggy crunch him. No, oh, sorry, it was too convoluted. <laughs> Me, why why read big word when small word work? Just... I actually made it more of a big word. Nuggo is not bigger than Nuggy. Oh. It's a smaller word. I didn't say Nugget. I thought I said You nugget. said Choco Nuggy, right? Did I? I don't know. Roll the videotape. <laughs> I'll just say sure. I'll just say sure. Well, we're not attacking, so let's just uh, give them the old Turneruski. Me save big. <laughs> Wait, Kevin, are you saying Sea World, or are you saying Sea World? See, nobody knows. How about some Kraft Mac and cheese made with chocolate milk? Oh, <laughs> you lost me a Kraft Mac and cheese, and then you added the chocolate milk. Oof. Jesus Christ. That's vomit inducing. I'm gonna make you some of that later. I'm not gonna eat it. I'll put some hot dogs in it for you. <laughs> you think that's gonna make it better? I mean, yeah, I do. You love hot dogs, man. God, he loves fucking hot dogs, dude. You guys should send Michael hot dogs. Just send him. <laughs> just buy a bunch of hot dogs on the internet and send them to him. We'll eat them. A little ketchup on top. Oh. I'll record every hot dog he eats and I'll put it on the internet. I'll make a hot dog eating montage. If you don't for you count guys. corn, if you don't count corn dogs, I haven't had a hot dog in like several years. Oh man, when it's late, Mike gets home at like one a.m. because <laughs> that's when he works until he'll go to like this this restaurant in like one of the streets near here, and it's open till like four, and he'll be like, "Give me four corn dogs," and I'll just eat corn dogs. Some onion rings. Ooh, that sounds good. It doesn't. It does to me. It does not. Horn dogs are delicious. You say horn dogs? Yeah. Hmm. hmm. I don't think we want to. Probably want to get rid of that ooze, yeah. This is going to be 3 4.
Okay, that seems like a good block. That doesn't kill the Titan, but... Yep, yeah, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it does make a token. Oh, he didn't make the token yet. Okay. No. I was like, why would I throw all these guys in front of the Titan if it didn't kill it? That'd be absolutely terrible. Talk about your bonehead plays, Michael. I saw a corn dad made with jalapeno mac and cheese. Say a corn dad? <laughs> I saw a corn dad. <laughs> hey, let me see your hey, is your corn dad home? Sweet. Yeah, I really don't have that. I don't know what trick they could have, but I hope they don't. I can't imagine it's going to blow us out. It's got to be like a one thing that they do, but... Well, they could just have nothing. I don't know. Looks like they, they had nothing. Have nothing. No, I like how that went. So we traded Sower of Rumez for our Ralph Primeval Titan, Vendillion Click, and Biojackers. That seems decent. Yeah. Oh, look! So look what they have. Wait, they have no creatures though. Oh, that's pretty good. They have one creature. Oh, oh that's no! Good. What do you get back? Primeval Titan or Biojackers? Tough call. Yeah, that's correct. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we do this, they tap down Mentor, I guess, but then we attack for like six, seven, eight, six, seven. Then they play Ooze, they make two guys. We have an answer to that, though, so. What? Wind of Abandon? Well, I just said if we play this to get rid of it. I'm literally walking through the line where we're playing this right now. I guess if we don't, they make two uses. It's bad because they just tap our lands, right? And that's, then we can never cast it. Yeah, like, I don't think we're going to get six if they start tapping our lands. Plus, like... If they tap down their oozes to like tap our things, sure. Probably should have tapped down the Gideon. That's because if they start tapping down our our creatures, then we can actually kill them with Gideon. Oh, it is artifact creature land. You're right. You can't tap Gideon. Never mind. I was thought it was, I thought it was permanent because I'm like this card's broken. It clearly taps any permanent whatsoever. Draw a card and go to one. I dare you. I'll gut shot you. Yesterday I started to play the Bioshock Infinite with my Ryzen 5 new laptop, and that thing uh, is running in very high settings. I couldn't believe... Oh, yeah. Dude, Ryzen's are crazy. What is this they're doing? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Those, well, like, Alienwares? Like, good pre-mates? Yeah, probably. I would imagine. Well, I would... Now, eight, I just don't recognize the name. Oh, wait. No, the no. Ryzen's just new AMD processor, man. Oh, okay. Oh. How much is that for? Well, it's for 10. So it's gonna get haste. <sighs> yep. <laughs> Amazing. Well, guess that's a one card combo. Elish seems very good here. Probably better than Karn. They played Finale of Devastation for with X being 10, which means the creatures get plus 10, plus 10, and haste. So and they a played a Progenitus. Progenitus. Cannot block it. Sweet dick. <laughs> I like Linvala here. For ooze. For everything. For ooze. For all the mana elves. Oh yeah. Stops the elves too.
No all star? No, what is it too? It's better than Karn, right? It doesn't get rid of Primeval Titan. It doesn't get rid of like Silver Library. Like Karn gets rid of really problematic things that we can't deal with. I mean it will nuke all their small guys and make our team big enough to like Titan won't even matter. So I can never talk with it profitably. This would be great if we had a hollow Yeah. Yep. Still probably worth keeping because of song. What does that have to? What is? What is that? So, we, so we can get a blue. I mean, like mentor and Solemn isn't a bad curve. Why would you ever play that on turn one? You just open yourself up to a free free <laughs> damage. That's like, well, I don't understand why you'd ever play that out on turn one. Oh, people are Lord. weird about it, like, oh, I can play it, I'll just play it. It's like it's a weird mentality. Never punished. Like, we're blue-white, so they don't have to worry about Thoughtseize, so... Just doesn't make any sense. Oh, no attack, huh? <sighs> That was a pretty good hit. Oh, why didn't I just play Burmaz here? That was really dumb. Ugh, God. Probably because we talked about that's why. Mentor, yeah, because so you said Mentor just, into Solemn is a good. Right. And I'm like, oh, I guess that's our that's our play. So I just totally forgot that we had Burmaz. You draw another blue, it'll be pretty sweet. Yeah, opposition. Yeah, Mon Mentor and opposition seems good. Send Burmaz too. That's part of our Bromance is you can attack, make the token, and then tap their things down before blocks. It's okay, they just have Primeval Titan every game. They've also won every flip, so. Turn three Primeval Titan. Win both flips. Well, there goes our chance of casting blue spells. Not if we draw an island. We did not. <sighs> yep, this has been a fun game. I like that the first game we actually had to like struggle and we're like actually playing a good back and forth game where there's a lot of interaction. We have to make a lot of hard decisions, then our opponent just has to tap all his mana and slam a big dumb idiot onto the onto the board with haste. I think I get the most frustrating games where I actually feel like I'm working for my win and my opponent just gets to dummy into it. You know what I mean? Like Like Mana Crypt on turn zero, Primeval Titan every game. And then then like we give them lands with winds of abandon and then they just Play progenitus for 2020 haste. Okay, well. <sighs> Take six, I guess. <coughs> to the surprise of no one. Yep. I mean, if we draw blue, I think we're still fine, but we did not.
<sighs> would love to kill this Garak, but we're just going to end up trading with the beast, which is not worth it. Hey, they lost a flip. My luck's changing. It's all happening. You have 12 mana, 14 if you count Grook. I never count Grook. They just have it again. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep. And just, just let it away. We can nothing. We nothing. We can do about this. Cool. Yep. I would say fun games, but they were not fun. No, you can't do anything to it. It's it's for Genesis. If you ask if there's a thing you can do against it, you the can't. answer is no. The answer is always no. Jesus, that hunter with glasses in the chat. At least he isn't playing white, so there is not the fear of getting got by the mana tide. That's true. I guess there's that. Oh, he's got to look at that silver lining. And this is how I wonder how fucking... How, how Team Jaber has 76 trophies. I'm like, I think he's very good. But you just can't avoid variants like this bullshit. Like, you just can't get... Like, that's what happens in the Vintage Cube. You just get variants out sometimes. Because people have Progenitus and they get to 12 mana because of their Primeval Titans and their Garrick. So it's like... I don't understand how you can avoid that variance that consistently, I guess. I don't know. Like, even if you factor in him somehow perfectly drafting every time, like, building the best deck you could with the cards presented to him, Sam, like, there's still var variance, right? Yeah, you like, still can't control what your opponent has. It's just surreal to me. Like, it's... Must just draft Progenitus every time. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. Jesus, the blue-green deck again, huh? Please. Play more matches. I don't know if that's supposed to be serious or not. Get that dude out of here. Seems good. I would like to steal that if you don't mind. But then you just bounce it with the Venser that you have right there, so. Hmm. Hmm. And treachery, take his oracle, untap, play opposition, tap both of the blue sources. Yeah, but then they just equip Jitte on here, they attack with this, and they kill this, I guess? So I don't know if that's as bad. No, we still get to keep. Is that all of them? One left? Yeah, alright. We have a solemn on top.
God, I gotta tap this guy down, otherwise it's for nothing. I just hope they don't have another blue, I guess. Because if you let them attack with the Jitate guy, they just kill the Oracle anyway. What's my favorite archetype in this cube? Actually, I don't know. Probably like blue mid, blue, blue black mid range nonsense. Like the broken decks, I feel like they're too hard to like get consistently, so it's really hard to like. Okay, the fact that we get to untap with these is pretty good. Yeah, we didn't actually uh, play Solemn because I want to keep that Gideon. Oh god, the fact that Fencer's an instant though is pretty rough. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Okay, let's go to your draw stuff, see if you want to use that mana. Any squishers in the chat? What, what does that even mean? Oh, God. The old squishers. Yeah, opposition's great with the Jitte. The fact that they get their, or their Oracle back is pretty rough, though. I don't know if it matters, actually. If they're because because they, when they go to bounce this, we can just tap more lands down. It doesn't really do anything. Because we're gonna tap everything before before their main phase anyway. So. Give me my oracle back. Okie dokie. And we'll tap this guy down. They're gonna add mana because they strike me as the kind of person that just adds mana for the heck of it. They didn't. Good well, for them. Well then. Hey, good for you, huh? Alright. Well. One, two, three, four, five. Gidgeon. I just want to kill the elf. Actually, no, we'll make them attack. Dungeon, you. I guess we could have waited until post combat and. Might have to just give the mana this turn. We're not actually keeping up with. Yeah, we'll just give the mana. That's fine. They have to attack so we can block with Burmaz, make another guy, tap some things down. Looter. They only have two cards, which is fine. Oh, what up, Chris? Michael's rubbing his little eyes. Oh, my little eyeballs. I see. It's a good one. Well, they get to draw two. Yeah, all right. Bring it. Oh, did they not stack it in such a way that they get to kill my... Wow, that's pretty good for us. Jeez. Yuppers. 
Get out of here. It's true. Get out of here. Uh, let's get planes. And you're good. Okay. Doesn't know why. Um, I don't really care about that, I guess. Yes, I do. Alright, so they got forest on top. Okay. They drew coast. See if they play that. Looter. And they're probably gonna play Coast too, and they got Corsair on top. Oh no. Not looter. Man, opposition decision's a hell of a card. It's pretty good. Oh, Jesus. They had a family. Servos. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Should definitely tap it. Oh, they can't block. They're dead. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> Bringing the Slimvala again. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee, Mike. Ooh-wee. You like this? You like when I do this? Do you like it, Michael? No. You better get liking it. <laughs> God, he's so weird. This is why I don't subscribe to him on YouTube, because he's just so weird. He really is. He really is. His fans getting. It's, it's too much. Remember that time I threw that piece of chocolate in your drink? Yeah, I'll never forget. That's one day when I murder you, it's going to be because of that. Wow. You know, that's that's this reason. is for the Hershey kissing my drink. <laughs> and I'm the one who's weird when I call the stream. That's true. I agree. Thank you for admitting it, Chris. I really appreciate your honesty and your. And your openness. And your open honesty. <sighs> Why is he like this? Does anybody... Know? What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop what? it. Stop it. You're like a little cat. <laughs> you know what you're... You're like know? a little cat. What? Do you guys think Michael should go to the dentist and have every other tooth removed? Would that wow. look wouldn't that look cool? Like so I have cross hatch? Yeah, like every other tooth would be missing. So then when you be cool like Yeah, when you having... smile they would look like black white, black white, black white. This is a good hand. Magic's a game where you get one land to turn automatically, right? I mean to be fair, if you're on the the Never mind, it's just bad. Don't do it. Yeah, you're like, if you're on... <laughs> I the, can't even commit to this. Uh, yeah, just ship it. Oof. What? That's greedy. Really? I got three mana sources here. Plus a Riftwing and a Looter. How's that greedy? <sighs> this will literally find me all the lands in the world, Michael. Yeah, we'll see. Are you going to talk to your Nana like that, Michael? Are you my Nana? Yeah, scratch that belly. Scratch that belly. Scratch, scratch that belly. I will. Good. Good for you, man. Hey. Good for you. God, 2020 is going to be his year, man. It's the year of the Michael. Also, I realized I have a uh, a target goal in mind for my new PC. 
Okay. Just to be able to run Cyberpunk 2077 on good, on the good goods. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's a good card. And they got an Oracle. I think you'll be able to do it. I don't think that's going to be an issue, my dude. All right. And so, how do they have six fucking mana so far? Jesus. Oracle's a hell of a card. So we know they have. Fencer, Forest, Elves. Okay. Yep, they played the Forest. They already played Ancestral as well. That's true. Oh, they're just going to play Venser. They're going to play everything. Ancestral, Venser, Elves. It's all gone. They have two cards in hand. Well, land here would have been nice because then we can go dupe dupe this guy and then play Burmaz again. I guess we'll just play Burmaz again. Yeah, they got a lot of resources, but... Not much going on. Noble. What was the other card that was just on top that we just saw? That, that, that was it, I think. I'm just going to send that thing packing. Actually, I'm going to send this guy packing, because then you can't double block my Burmaz. Burmaz. You know this jam. You guys know it. Oh, this was silly. I was supposed to play opposition here so I can keep this guy. That was stupid. I'm an idiot. Maybe play Linval here instead. Or you can play Angel of Inventions and then next turn play Opposition. I can't play Angel of Invention. What's wrong with you? Angel of Servas. The things you contribute to the stream. I, I believe in you. Don't even go there, buddy. Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind? <laughs> what does that mean? I haven't played any Witcher. I tried the first game for about 10 minutes, but that thing is just terrible. Though. I don't know, man. It's got pretty high reviews. The first one? Like Witcher 1? I mean, that's also a pretty old game at this point. I can't play old games like that. Like Half-Life 1? Like, no, I can't. I just can't look at it. Depends on the game. Like, what can you play? Like, anything with, like, 16 or 18-bit graphics is fine because they, like... Still look kind of okay. Any sp hmm. Yeah. 16 or what? Or 8 bit. Oh, I think you said 18 bit. I was like, that's not that's a thing. That's not a bit, no. I was, well, they want, oh, they want to choose Carnage? Oh, no. I'll let you draw two, my dude. We're at a point where, like, tapping things down doesn't even. Tapping mana down doesn't do anything. They still have six if we tap their mana down. First game is rough. Hmm. Or what's going on, my dude? Tracker on top. There's the noble. Oh, we're living the dream right now, my dudes. I don't think they have counter spells. I really don't. But I'm gonna feel they don't. Okay. Nope. Need you back. You gotta stay home. One, two, three, four, five, six. You have six. You can tap down pretty much anything they have. That's pretty cool. Staying home. And next turn, Linvala turns off their land of werewolf and then a black. Their house is a museum where Michael comes to see him. 
They're gonna keep choosing carnage. Doodle-doo. Homage, my dude. Homage. Tap the little heart. I watched the Netflix original information about the story after the watch after watching the show. I liked it so much that I wanted to know more, so I got the three games and plan to play from the beginning. The gameplay is awful. <laughs> oh lord. Oh, I don't know why I tapped that thing. I don't care about that. Oh, we just win the match. They're like, I don't feel like dealing with this every turn. And rightfully so. But here's the thing, even though like our even though we won, like we still kinda won like in a grindy sort of like if you could top deck a nature's claim or a wreck sage you're still probably going to be fine, right? And you're drawing a ton of cards. Whereas, like, our matches, the first round was like, oh, cool, you just progenitus us out of nowhere. Both games. It's like it's like every turn you get to flip a coin, and if you lose the coin flip, you just lose the game. It's like having Mana Crypt at three life. And that's the only thing the match is determined on, really. Josh, have you played all three? And if if so, like, can you just play the third one without having any backstory from the first or second? Does that make a difference? I'm gonna keep it, Michael. I'm Michael Kay. Did you like that? Only because of the recent clip where he does his own impression of himself. <laughs> oh, well, now we're suspending that. Are we trading? That's gas. <laughs> what? Why would you ever do that? That's aggressive. That's like, what do you, I guess you get to protect your jays, but still, man, I don't know. Don't seem worth it. Have you ever played a Snapcaster before? Like, that card is good. Yeah, that was really bizarre. Oh, next time we get to go opposition into Mentor? Like, that's pretty good. What in the fuck? That's weird, man. Like, and we got a clue out of the deal, so, like, it's so bad for them. I mean, if they have Crypt... Oh, okay, well, I guess they don't have Crypt. They chase the Mind Sculptor? For say Metamorph. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we even attack. Oh. Wait, oh, what? attack the Jace. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to try to get rid of the Jace. And if they want to trade their mentor for it, that's fine. Oh, the blue deck didn't tap it. I would have thought the blue deck had something to play on there. Well, now you just get to bounce this guy. That does mean in the future they might get to bounce all our things, but... No, I'm just going to bounce the land. I don't care about the mentor. Ah. Although they're probably going to Cryptic Command here. <laughs> Wait, what is it? Counter and bounce. Okay. Interesting. Land. Coalition Relic. Ugh. Do you think we'll hit a land? Ooh, that's greedy. Is it? Yeah. Well, you see, it's something you could cast. That's the important part, Michael. I don't want to relic first because I want to get a creature on the board. We have opposition. So I want to make sure that we can play more creatures to the board and if we hit a land we get to just play mentor again which is good because it sets us up for all the creatures next turn 
I also want to hit another land so I can play a Miri Angel. But it ain't working, so we'll just cast her normally. Actually, this is probably worth it. It was worth it. I don't oh. think we care about Jace. We can also get it back sometime. Well, Jace is a spell with Mentor, though. And so is everything else in our hand except for Solemn? So maybe yeah, Solemn, Solemn kind of sucks. Well, Solemn makes a bird, though, too. It's yeah. two creatures. I think I'd really get rid of Relic than Jace. Like, what is Relic doing? Birdie. Okay, let's go to the draw step then. I didn't notice they tapped the first one. I <sighs> didn't see that. That's real good. Maybe it's not that good. I don't actually know. Uh, they can bounce the opposition. Just sure, sucks. I'll just replay it. You're getting a lot of work out of our uh, our mentor here. Yep, this is really fucking annoying, actually. Ignored the stip. There's no stip. What are you talking? I don't know what you're talking about. No, we didn't do that. That's why when you do command step, it says none. Like, I wouldn't have. Oh, wow. You're just. Cool. Must be nice. <sighs> wouldn't know personally, but. Seems like it probably is. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they're copying that really well in the game. Yep. I kind of like Dali here, actually. Or man yeah. or manatized to be honest, that so were like condemn. Seventeen lands, two signets, and a relic, and I'm surprised we're having this much mana issue. But then again, I'm not really surprised because <laughs> come on. <laughs> uh. I hope I draw more white cards. That's really what I want. <laughs> good, good. It's all happening. Probably gonna manually get. No. Hey, surprisingly mm. not. Oh, is there gonna bounce it? Cool. I'll go get my Mox. Oh, that guy. It's a white. <laughs> Technically, the deck said what you asked. Did, did what I asked, right? 
I guess that's technically true. Uh, okay, I'll take it. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna tap your mana in response. Oh no, not a brazen borrower. Anything but that. Hmm. Not bad. Now do we go relic into Brimaz? Probably, right? Yeah. I'll trade a Riffling Cloudscape for a Brazen Bar. Sure. I have nine cards in hand? Jeez. I guess we did give them an island back. Boots, huh? I'll get it. Is he nothing else to do? Meow. Not my kitty cat. What's new, kitten cat? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you like this? Today my daughter took some yarn of my wife. She knits. My wife, not my daughter. And she tied it to one doorknob in the hallway to another doorknob. She then tried to run through it going full speed and clothesline herself. It left her... Jesus. Man, kids do some crazy stuff. That doesn't even seem real. But I know it is because that's, that's how kids be. That's just how kids okay. be. Kids just go for it, man. They do. They're like, I ain't got shit to lose. I'm, I'm fucking immortal. <laughs> What up, Unknown Jay? They do be like that sometimes. It's true. I'll keep this. You know what? This looter's gonna... It's gonna do, do the business. Ooh, maybe I want to turn two signet into Solemn. Big time plays. Buddy, I'll take him. I, I'll take him to the house. Oh yeah, we're Solomon. Solomon Slalom. I bet my neck could break that yarn. BRB. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Alright, Lands, we get it. Wow, everything's resolving. Maybe only as cryptic? <laughs> only. Don't you ever fucking talk about cryptic command like that? <laughs> You copy my solemn? I said, God damn. One more land and we have enough. Oh, yeah. Now we can play Ugin in the future. I'm just getting in there. Tradesies. Tradesies. Yeah, that's enough of those. So just to be clear, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sources of mana, one, two, three, four spells. Unless you have plenty of fodder for your looter, I guess. Fodder for my looter. Mutter for my looter too. That'll be good one day. One day. I knew it was coming. I was like, bring it. It's going to say one day. Watch out. Watch out. Everybody be careful. It was another land. Wow. Amazing. I was amazed. Ancestral Recall. I don't actually know if this opponent has Ancestral Recall or not. Probably. Well, that's a good dude. Hmm. Well, we know they have Cryptic Command. And Black Lotus. <laughs> Casual Black. Wait. 
Why didn't they get that with get, Trinket Mage when yeah. they had very few lands and they never actually cast the Stone Cold Serpent? What the hell? Who knows, man? Here's another land, by Plus the way. Must in their sideboard. Probably the old that's, Lotus in the sideboard, you know? That's a that's a, that's a common trick, Solid. yeah. Solid, yeah. It does damage to an opponent. It's just more important that we hit them, I think. And draw Brimaz. Or Planes. Monastery Mentor. Good counter bait. Much for that one. Ugin and a mentor. Although I'd like both if we're if that's an option. It's not. But it's not. It's never an option. Well, it counters well. Now I'm gonna play my other guy to counter it again with my big big Titan boy. That's actually exactly what they're gonna do, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh no, they're gonna tap out for something not uh, it's not really that good against us. I guess they can get a hero. It's Sun Titan. Oh, they get Sun Titan. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, we have Treachery. But they still yeah. have six mana up, so... We'll have to see if, if that's... If they're smart, they'll crack their Lotus now so they get a trigger. I guess they wouldn't know that we have Sun Titan, though. So that, that'd be like a super big brain play if they knew that. <laughs> or they can just get back Baral or Island, man. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, but it's more big brain to get extra <laughs> Lotus. <laughs> more big brain... Gotta get them big brain plays. Told you they get sun tight. You didn't even listen to me, man. God, you never listen to me. Island over Brawl, huh? He's like, I need, I need seven mana. Yeah, we could wins to try to bait out the spell. I was thinking that. If it resolves, it's totally fine. Mm -hmm. Sure. Hey, look, a land that costs two mana. Come on, player. Yeah, there you go. Here, here he comes. Yeah, we all knew what was happening. Buddy. I guess I hope they don't have Spill Pierce. No. They had that instead. <laughs> on the bright side we should be able to play this Ugin next turn pretty easily and kill everything kill everything negative six Ugin will go to one one of the best stories that I saw was my brother had not had not one hair on his face but the eyebrows and he decided that he wanted to know how it is to shave a beard minutes later he appears with the eyebrows glowing white from totally shaved he wore a sport hat for one week to hide it until my sister showed him how to draw a fake eyebrow wow good lord well this is sad because now they just play stone cold serpent as a 6-6 six, six, but oh and they get their jace back too that's all, that's very good well oh they I guess they're playing it as a 10-10 which is lethal and we can't kill it with our Ugin yeah they literally everything went perfect for them it must be nice to have it all okay well we're dead cool I get an attack I don't know what we can draw but we get an attack if we could redraw our winds of abandon maybe <laughs> um now it's got trample hold on trample is a 10-10 this has one toughness Oh, this is perfect. Oh, wow. That's amazing. I wonder what it's... Wow, that's really, that's really good. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Slam those pity like and subscribe buttons. And uh, check out manatraders.com for a great subscription service. You get 20% off the first three months of any, any subscription with the link and promo code down below. And I'll see you next time. Maybe it'll be a better time. It'll be better days then. <laughs>